Hi, Isaac, Geneva, and Wendy. Thank you so much for joining me for this week's symposium conversation. Um, I wanted to start actually by asking Isaac, so why were you inspired to write a new piece for violin based on Wendy's submission, Early Spring Rain in the Valley? So yeah, um, when I first saw Wendy's painting, it struck me as really evocative um, and it kind of just stood out to me. Um, it kind of made me think of like folk tunes for some reason, sort of like when you listen to a folk tune, you kind of get sort of this imagery of like, you know, somewhere that's like vast and sort of um, secluded. And from that, I just immediately just got inspired to sort of write something for violin. Um, I knew I wanted to do something for a solo instrument. I had been writing a lot of piano music. So I thought, you know, let me try something, something a little bit different. And Wendy's painting seemed like it was like the perfect fit, just really beautiful and sort of the different sort of textures and layers that I sort of saw in it sort of really inspired me. That's wonderful. And so Wendy, why were you uh, inspired to submit this piece specifically? You submitted a range of different uh, works of yours, but uh, what can you tell us a little bit about the specific artistic background behind Early Spring Rain in the Valley? Yeah, um, it's, I, I think it's a perfect combination of things that I love and love to draw. Um, I love to be out in the landscape, hiking and gardening and, and listening to birds. And that's where I like to draw to the most, being outside part of the air and the atmosphere and I'm a total cloud nut. Um, and I prefer to draw during times when the light varies a lot, when, there's a, when there are a lot of transitions. Um, that's why I like clouds because they're constantly moving, constantly changing. I like the beginnings and ends of the day, but, and I also love spring out here. Um, I've spent, I, I often say, I grew up on the East Coast. I'm used to the seasons more and not the, sub, I wasn't so used to the subtleties out in California, but actually I've spent most of my life in California now. So between February and May is when I love to be outside the most. And that's when I did that piece. And there are often changes in weather. So this was a great um, compilation of my loves of light changing quickly, clouds and the landscape greening. And so Isaac, when you were interacting with this painting, um, what were some of the things that you were translating into music or how are you thinking about that process? Yeah, so I think like I said, I kind of like saw the piece in layers and I, I kind of like what really stood out to me initially were the clouds and the rain and um, sort of the greenery. And I tried to, to sort of not only like convey the physical aspects of sort of those parts in the painting, but also like maybe sort of um, experiences as humans that we may associate with those certain aspects of nature. Mm -hmm. So this is a great time to bring Geneva in. Um, so what was it like for you to be the one who literally brings this piece into the world by performing it and working with Isaac? Um, I don't know if you had like drafts that were sent over the course of the process and having the painting as another resource, like if you could just speak to that experience, that would be great. Well, it's been a very exciting process collaborating with Isaac. He was very inclusive in the whole, prog uh, whole process. And right from the beginning, you know, he sent me an email that, and I saw the painting for the first time and was already inspired just from seeing it. And he was asking what kind of music and what kind of textures and what kind of, you know, moods I'm interested in when I play and was just very open and receptive to, you know, creating something that I think would represent um, himself and the artwork and myself in, in this piece. And we also met up a couple times over Zoom and I would play through the piece for him in some early drafts and we experimented with some things and worked on things. I mean, I felt like I um, understood what Isaac was portraying with this piece from the beginning. I hope you would agree. I felt like it was coming across and we were on the same page with, with a lot of it. And um, 
you know, I mean, there is a responsibility to being the person to ha to first bring this this music in, into the world. But I'm really excited about what we created. And I think, as Isaac said, it's, um, I hope that, you know, with these three artists coming together, we've created something that does convey this sort of human experience. And I think one thing that stood out to me um, is there's kind of the sense of solid and almost, I felt almost loneliness in some places when I was playing it, but in that kind of loneliness where you're in nature and you feel both small and protected. And that was really resonating with me you know, during this time. Sorry, Geneva, you cut out just at the very end. I don't know if that was me or, um, but uh, from what I heard, it was that beautifully said, and I'm really, really excited to share this with our audiences. And it means a lot to me to have such open artists as yourselves just coming together across physical distances over Zoom for this kind of collaboration. So thank you all, all so much for being part of this. Um, is there anything else you'd like to share that hasn't been mentioned yet? Can I say one more thing? Of course. Um, I am stunned and totally honored to have had my, my piece picked. And just the descriptions that both Geneva and Isaac, um, the words they used to describe the piece was totally, without me saying anything, got a lot of who I am. You know, the loneliness, the vastness, the, the whole back and forth um, that you feel when you draw or that I feel when I draw. And a lot of t times people think I'm a very, they see my pieces and they, they think they make makes them calm, but I'm not a calm person, which is why I like the movement. And I'm, I'm totally flattered and honored and amazed that they picked up on these subtleties in their own ways. And to have this third for me, a third dimension to be translated into music is quite an honor, yeah. Well, thank you so much for sharing that. And thank you, Geneva, Isaac, and Wendy, again, for being part of this. Um, uh, so we will be releasing this on Monday at 5 p.m. Pacific time. And uh, I'll just keep you posted on the next steps uh, until then.